Hi guys, I wanted to make a new Unity tutorial series and I wanted to focus on um, VR and the Oculus Quest. And in this video, we look at the setup of Unity and what you need to change. Let's take a look. Right, so let's jump right in here. So if you want to follow along with this tutorial, then all I've done so far is I've created a new Unity project. It's in version 2019.3.9 F1. And it's also using the uh, Universal Render Pipeline template. And the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and go to File, New Scene. I'm going to very quickly save this scene. So the first thing you want to do is go to Window, Package Manager. Here we go. Uh, and you want to make sure we got all packages selected from here. Go to Invert, Advanced, and then Show Preview Packages if you haven't got it ticked already. And then in the Advanced section, we're going to want to look for XR Interaction. We want the toolkit which is in preview which is why you needed to check that box and this is an xr interaction toolkit for creating vr and ar experiences it's great we'll go ahead and install that once that's done we'll close down that window and you go file build settings and we want to, i'm going to change mine to android i'm using the oculus quest which runs on the android platform and so will the quest 2 and this tutorial series is specifically targeting the oculus quests so go ahead and change it to android and then we will change the texture compression to ASTC and hit switch platform. And that might take a while to recompile everything because it's it all gets re-imported. Cool, next up, when that's done, go ahead and hit player settings. And then we want to go down to XR plugin management and install XR plugin management. Again, it's gonna import packages and bits and pieces. And when that's done, you'll see you've got this drop down box here. Go ahead and make sure you're on Android and tick Oculus. And then you'll see Oculus is populated just below. We want to go ahead and make sure where stereo rendering mode is multipass and V2 signing quest is ticked. From here, we're going to go to player. I'm going to drag this out a little bit. And we will just, there's nothing much to do here by default. It should all be okay. Um, we just want to make sure we're in the linear color space. Um, graphics APIs we can leave alone um, and I think we're all good from there let's go ahead and confirm that um, under the package name you can give this some you can give this a more meaningful name in the format com something dot something um, because this is what you're going to see inside the um, unknown sources inside the headset but that's all okay for me I'm gonna go ahead now and close this down that's the inspector and then uh, to test this out I'm very quickly going to create um, a quick level there we are that's my art skills at, at its best and uh, I'm going to go ahead remove the main camera from the scene we're going to go right click XR stationary XR rig it's going to hopefully put it in the center have a look cool and then on our XR rig, on tracking origin mode, I'm going to go ahead and set mine to floor. And then that is literally it for getting up and running on the headset. What, what I've done here is just created a very quick test scene. Then we're going to just check our build pipeline between Unity and the Oculus Quest and make sure we're good for the next lesson. In order to build it, first of all, save. And then we're going to go to File, Build Settings, Remove the sample scene. You can go ahead and click on it. Delete. Go and add open scenes. You should get the scene you're currently in, which is our VR test scene. And then on our run device, if you haven't plugged it in, go ahead and use the cable and plug it in. Uh, and then hit refresh. And then you should see your Oculus Quest populate in the list. You can go ahead and choose it and then select build and run. And then from there, we can save it. And um, it will probably take a while, the first build. Um, I think it, it can even take up to 10 minutes. Um, but after that time you should it should run in your headset let's have a look okay so it's building here uh, I'm gonna pause it and then come back to it when all is good so once that's finished building you should get your succeeded message at the bottom and um, let's go ahead and put the headset on and see how it looks so here we are now in VR and my controllers <laughs> the battery's gone on my controller it's floated away up there but um, I've got my left hand here. Um, yeah, 
I'm gonna get, get, me, get me some more batteries. And you'll see here, this is this is my left hand. Um, and we can look around the scene and there's my fantastic 3D cubes. Uh, so we know now that um, our build pipeline is working just fine. So in the next tutorial, we'll take a look at adding in our hands. See you then.